So it's time to calibrate the my LG C9 again. I did it once when I first got it in 2019, but unfortunately, a couple of months ago, I accidentally reset it when I was trying to do a firmware upgrade, and of course that wipes out the calibration. So it still looks good, but I spent all this effort calibrating it, and I'm going to recalibrate it now. So I'm not going to show you all the details of the calibration because there's there's a, there's a tutorial from Portrait Displays. That tell you exactly how to do it. So I'll just put some links to that in the show notes. And I have a C9, but there's also a tutorial for the CX, the 2020 CX. So, so uh, over here on one side, I've got my laptop or my uh, iPad set up so I can watch the tutorial while I'm doing it because it's it's a cookbook, but it's a fairly complicated cookbook. And I got my PC, so I'll be running the Portrait Displays Calman. Uh, software that does the automatic calibration of the LG and that's hooked up to my local area network with our switch that's in our cabinet so it's on the, on the network now over here I've got my camera so you need a camera to uh, read what the TV is putting out and feed it back into the program now what's a good thing about the LG's from the C9 onwards they have built-in pattern generators you don't have to buy a separate pattern generator which is expensive so the camera I got is the uh, Excite I display Pro and I'll put a link to that in the show notes as well so this is not the most expensive camera but it's like the best one that would do the job that fits within my budget so it worked well for me so I would recommend it there is a more expensive camera you can buy from portrait displays I don't think it's worth it if you're just doing your own TV so the first thing you're going to want to do is turn on your TV and you're going to want to use your magic remote don't don't use your smart remote, like I've got my smart remote set up to turn everything on, but I just, I just want to work with the TV. But before you turn it on, you need to download some um, movies that put up a gray background for about an hour from Portrait Display. So there's three different modes we're going to be calibrating, SDR, HDR, and uh, Dolby Vision. So there's one movie for each one. You need to put up a gray background while you're, while you're uh, calibrating so it doesn't interfere with anything else. So you just plug that in the back. I've already got a, a, a USB card plugged in the back here. And then you can turn on your TV. I'll give you a better, better look at the uh, camera because it'll be lighter in here. Okay, so you can see the camera a little bit better. So it's pushed up against the TV and I've got this tripod set up to push it against the TV. It's got a little gasket to prevent light from leaking in. They tell you to take this cord and uh, drape it over the back of the TV and it'll kind of hold up against it with gravity, maybe tilt the front of the TV back, but I didn't find that very effective. I think it's much more much more stable and uh, secure and uh, more consistent if you use a tripod, so that's what I'd recommend. Then you need to bring up your menu Oh, if you're going to hook up to this for the first time, you're going to need your IP address. So to get your IP address, you just go down to the uh, connection. And we, I have a wired connection because I don't think uh, Wi-Fi is great for video, so I don't like to do that. So you go into the wired connection, it'll tell you your IP address. You're going to need that. And I've, I've already connected once, so once you connect once, as long as the IP address doesn't change, which it doesn't usually, then you're fine. You don't have to put that in again. So you're going to want to start playing. Before you start, before you connect, you may as well start the uh, video playing that has the gray screen. So bring up the menu and go over to your uh, photo and video. And then um, I've got a USB uh, card in there. It finds that. And then I've got an LG directory. And AutoCal. So AutoCal is the name of the... Um, program that does the automatic calibration. So we're going to be doing SDR in this setup. So there's also one for Dolby Vision and one for HDR. So there's a lot of different modes you have to do. It's, I think it's at least about 10 different modes if you want to calibrate everything which I'm going to be doing. So, so you start this up and it just runs for an hour. See it's an hour over here. So it's just a gray background. That's a neutral background. Because then you can just leave that alone. Then you come over here and we'll start up uh, uh, Calman and get I'll just get going. I'm not going to show you all the details, but because you can follow the tutorial. But I'll just get it up and going, and then we'll see how it goes from there. All right, so you start up Calman, and then it's going to prompt you for a code, 
which will show up on the screen once it tries to connect to it. Yeah, so there's a, there's a pin code to prevent hackers from getting into your TV. So you've got to enter the number that shows up on the screen. So this is a one-time number, so even if you copy what I'm doing here, won't, you won't be able to hack into my TV because the next time it'll be different. I don't mind showing you this. Okay, and then you just say OK. And you're connected to the TV now. So we're connected to the TV, and now we're going to start a new calibration. So we want to pick uh, AutoCal, LG AutoCal. So it starts this, this the workflow. So it brings up LG AutoCal, and we have OLED, which is what we want. And then we have SDR. There's SDR, HDR, and Dolby Vision. So we want SDR. Then you hit Next, and you have to find your meter. So I've already found my meter, but this will since the meter is plugged into the USB port, the meter is plugged into the USB port, um, it, um, it, it'll find it that way. And then you want to set, for this particular uh, camera, you want to set it to OLED. Make sure you put it on OLED. So the camera that's shown in the, in the tutorial is different. It's, it's one of their cameras, so it has a different uh, option here. Then you do find source, and it'll, it'll find the TV. Now, since I, again, since I connected all once already, it found it already. But in your case, if you're doing it for the first time, it'll bring up a little dialog, and you can enter the uh, uh, IP address, and then it'll find it. And then where are you doing uh, OLED? So over here for OLED, we need to use these gamma formula suggestions. So we switch to power. He does this in the tutorial, so this isn't anything new, but it's going to show you that. We're going to do a nighttime mode calibration this time, which is the one he does in the tutorial. And so first you do a, a read series down here. And that'll read the existing calibration of the uh, TV. So I'm just going to start this. It takes a, quite a while, and then I'm going to come back when basically I'm all done. because. What you, what you want to do is you want to follow the tutorial because he's the expert. You see as it's going, it puts up different squares of, uh, in this case just grayscale to start with, and different, later on it'll be different colors, it's for the camera to read uh, to see what the different um, values are. So the camera just needs to be somewhere in that square, it's a 10% square. Now it's going to start doing some colors. So it puts up gray in between sometimes, to, I guess, to zero out the camera. Then it'll put up a color. Now it's doing blue. So I'll come back later when I'm all done and just show you what how, how I did. So here's our first, uh, here's the before calibration. So it's actually not too bad because I've already calibrated one SDR mode already. So by the time you do the second one, it won't be that far off. The first one was very far off. It was max error, I think, 12 or something like that. So it's, it's read all these different colors and grayscales and so forth. And then you go over here and you, you say find LG TV and it, it'll connect to that. Then you need to pick your mode. So for, let's see if we can zoom in on this so you can see it. Yes, yeah, so here are all the modes we're going to have to calibrate. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so there's 11 modes, and each one takes about an hour, so that's 11 hours of work. So I've already done a couple of them. First two, and I'm doing the Expert Dark now. That's my favorite one. I think that looks the best. There's also Game Mode, and then the, these are the these are the, and, and Technicolor. Those are all the SDR modes. And then there's HDR Game and HDR Cinema and HDR Technicolor. And there's, there's three Dolby Vision modes, too. So, so we're going to do Expert Dark. And then uh, we're just going to go to the next one, and I'll again I'll come back at the end, and we'll see uh, how we did. Uh, one other thing you need to do is before you do each uh, calibration, you need to reset the the uh, values that are in there. So full DDC reset. So that'll th take a few, about a minute or so, and then you can go on to calibration. Okay, so the calibration is done. Got an average error of 0.3, max error of 1.2. Go to the next screen. We can compare before and after. So it's a slight improvement. Like I said, with the once you calibrate one one uh, mode, like cinema mode with SDR, the next ones won't be so far off. So, all right, go on to the next calibration. 
I highly recommend that you calibrate your TV. It's, you spend a lot of money for it, so you may as well get the most you can get out of it, and it's not that hard to do it yourself. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Post a comment if you have any questions or ideas, and I'll try to respond. That's all for now, but more videos are coming, and if you want to see them, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification icon if you don't want to miss one. This is Beta Signy signing out, and keep looking up.